On the Bering Sea, an expedition to one of the least known marine habitats in the world is being sponsored by Greenpeace. For the first time ever, a collection of marine scientists will explore Zemchug and Pribilof canyons in the heart of this northern sea. Michelle Ridgway is amongst seven deep water subpilots that will dive to the canyon depths. Only in summer is the Bering Sea placid enough to even think about deploying deep water subs. Michelle and the other pilots must conduct system checks with sub engineers before braving the deep. Equipped with robotic arms, the sub allows pilots to take samples of deep sea life. Video cameras will record the first ever live images of the Bering Sea's deep sea life. Radio contact between Michelle and top side engineers is critical for keeping the sub pilots safe. Engineers remind sub-pilots to monitor oxygen levels, cabin pressure, and many sub-functions. Once the checklist is run, Michelle will be the first marine scientist to see just what lies at the bottom of the Bering Sea. In Zemchug Canyon, a habitat deemed critical to understanding the Bering Sea itself. Supporting one of the richest ecosystems on Earth, the Bering Sea's fisheries make up over half of the USA's catch. Much of this incredible productivity is thought to be linked to the deep water canyons. Ballast valve in neutral position. On each dive, two subs are deployed, not only for safety's sake, but to maximize time on the bottom. The Bering Sea's weather can change from good to worse quickly. Roger that top side, deep worker seven, flooding ballast. Michelle is an experienced sub pilot, one of the few women pilots in the world. Deep worker six is in view above me, over. Roger that top side, I have visual on deep worker six. We are about 30 meters apart, over. As the subs quickly descend, visual contact must be made. As backup, within her sub, Michelle can monitor the other sub's location by sonar. But other things reside in the deep. Wow, woo-hoo, this is great. Oh, there are so many squid in the vicinity. And unfortunately I have intercepted some squid in my thrusters already. I'm gonna try and get through these squid without jamming a thruster. We'll see what happens. My goodness, this is crazy. These guys, <laughs> these squid are, are uh, adhesing themselves to my cameras, to my lights, to the dome, inking me. It is definitely an aggressive environment down here. I almost lost sight of Deep Worker 6 because of the squid ink being so intense. Kita nass, arrowworms, more shrimp. We uh, seem to pass through the majority of the squid and now we are on bottom. Deep worker seven on bottom. One, three, zero, seven, over. On a vast sediment plain, one of the first strange sights Michelle sees are tall white creatures. Like underwater trees, sea whips dominate the sediment landscape. As the submarine pilots continue on, they record on video their undersea voyage. Isolated boulders dot the bottom. These rocks, thought to have dropped from melting ice that covered the Bering Sea's surface, are habitat for a unique and beautiful assemblage of marine life. Got anemones, crusting sponge. Is that an octopus? Looks like it might be. Yep, that is an octopus. Deep worker 
six is about 50 meters to my starboard side. My depth is one, two, zero, zero. On this and subsequent dives, Michelle Ridgway and the other pilots see incredible sights never seen before. I'm in a huge school of Pacific Ocean perch. There are thousands of them around right now. Whoa, suddenly many, many fish. I have no idea what that's all about. Look at them all. There's so many all around me. Here they are. I don't know who this guy is, but he's big. And beautiful. During the expedition, 26 submarine dives were conducted in two canyons. Absolutely lovely. Coral with raw fish and enemies. From 2,000 feet deep, for the sub-pilots, returning to the surface and the ship's deck comes all too soon. But emerging from the sub is a moment of elation and emotion. Then sharing impressions and highlights of submarine moments. Tiny crab, we'll have to identify that. In the final film, we will see how vital it is to understand not only this incredible underwater realm, but how this and other studies help unravel mysteries about how the entire Bering Sea ecosystem works.